Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless. Good evening. Good evening to each and every one of you. Good to be back. Hallelujah. Good to be back for another week. Good to see our family showing up. God bless you. I just want to greet a couple of you. God bless you, Sister Dita. Thank you for joining in. God bless you, Cece. Good evening to you. I see um, uh, uh, my sister Jamie is on. God bless each and every one of you. Thanks for joining in this evening. So glad to be back. Hallelujah. So glad to be uh, able to join in with everyone and just gather to worship. Amen. I want to drop a, a, a simple word this evening and then I just want to pray. Hallelujah for anyone who needs special prayer. Uh, I, I know it's been quite a month and the month is already going by so so fast. We're already, what, today's the 8th of, of July. So amen. We thank God for life. We thank God, you know, for everything. We just want to come to him in prayer. We come, want to come postured before him. Hallelujah. Amen. To glean from him. Amen. To learn from him. To render worship to him. Amen. And, and all that good stuff. So I've shared with uh, all the friends that I, I've been able to share with. If you have anyone you want to share with, go ahead and invite them to come in. Amen. And to join this family. Amen. This prayer network, hallelujah, where we not only study the word, amen, stand on it to pray, but lift one another up in prayer. So go ahead and share, amen. And as you're doing that, I'm just going to open us up in prayer this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We honor you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. We worship and adore you, Father, for who you are. You are the Lamb of God, the one who sits upon the throne. Father, you and you alone are worthy to be praised. We say, Father, unto you be all glory. 
be your honor, be your majesty, Father, be your power both now and forever. Father, we bless you. We love on you. We worship you tonight, God. We thank you, God, for your blessings. We thank you, God, for your goodness. We thank you, God, for your mercy. We thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you, God, for all the things that you have done. Amen. For us, what you are yet doing, Father, in our midst, what you are doing in the lives of your people. We thank you for your keeping power. We thank you, oh God, for protection. We thank you, oh God, for securing us and our families and our loved ones and our households. We thank you, God, for your goodness. Hallelujah. Your loving kindness, which is ever of old, that is even unto our children's children. We bless you tonight. We say, Father, have your way in us, God, as we're coming to your throne room together, as we're coming, hallelujah, entering into your gates with thanksgiving on our lips, with thanksgiving in our heart. Father, we are thankful unto you, Father, that before we even pray any prayer, Father, we thank you because you are worthy. We thank you. We worship you as sovereign king. We worship you just for who you are. Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, we bless you. We honor you as the sovereign one. We say, God, you are holy. We say, God, there's none that can compare to you. We say, God, that there's no one who is equal to you. Father, there's no one who is even like you. There's none on your level. Father, you don't even have a rival. You have no equal father. Oh God, you are in a class all by yourself. Father, that is why we worship you. That is why we honor you. That is why we carve out time and we drop everything that we're doing to pray, to worship, to give you glory, to give you honor, to give you praise, surrender. Oh God, our thanksgiving unto you. We enter into your courts with a praise on our lips, Father. Hallelujah. Not just for what you've already done, but God, because of what you are getting ready to do. Father, because of the things that you are already doing, Father, that maybe we don't see it with our eye. Maybe we haven't heard it with our natural ear, Father. Hallelujah. But we thank you for the things that you are already doing in our midst, Father. Hallelujah. We glorify you. We say thank you, God, for each and every person that is joining on the live tonight father thank you for everyone that is part connected to this network thank you for those low god who expose themselves father to a family of prayer and i thank you god low god that their needs shall be met father whatever need your people have father even through the breaking of bread and speaking over your word father i thank you you will wash someone with the washing of the word tonight low god that the deliverance will come through the word i thank you god for the prayers oh god that will be lifted father have your way father through us us. Lord God, lead us as we pray. God, that we will partner with heaven to pray what is the will of the Father, that your will will be done, Father, for not our will, but your will be done, God, in this earth, in our life, Lord God, in the uh, environment, hallelujah, uh, the territory where you have assigned each and every one of us respectively. I thank you in advance for your will being done. Have your way tonight. We pray in your precious name, Father. Do a new thing in us, precious Holy Ghost. We thank you and we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessings and greetings to each and every one of you. I see Pastor Alicia is on. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Alicia. Amen. We honor you. Hallelujah. We honor each and every one of you. I see Margie is on. God bless you, my, my dear friend Margie. Good to see you. Amen. So glad uh, uh, all of you have joined in today. I just want to I wanna share a brief scripture. Amen. I want to share a brief scripture and just we're just going to we're just going to pray. That's what we're going to do tonight. Amen. So hallelujah. I want to talk about mustard seed faith tonight. That's what the Lord let me to share. Amen. From this morning, glory be to God. Amen. It's to talk about the mustard seed faith. If you recall last week, we spoke on not losing your childlike faith, not losing your childlike faith. And if you recall what, what we spoke on out of the book of Matthew says that unless you become as a child, amen. Jesus told the disciples, unless you become as a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. He said, those who become as this child, they shall be and humble as this child shall be greater, shall be the greatest in the kingdom. We said that the faith of a child, amen, it, it, uh, it, it walks in humility, but it walks in this faith that has no limit, right? It has no limits. It has no bounds. You have the innocence and the faith of a child to believe God that, that nothing is in Hallelujah. But when I pray, I don't pray in my own strength. I don't pray because of my ability, but I have the utmost confidence in who my father is. That is a faith of a child. Amen. The child is not thinking, you know, because of my ability, this is going to happen when they're coming to you for something. When a child comes to you, they have full confidence in you as the adult. Amen. To handle the situation because that is your role. Amen. And so it is with God. When we learn to become as a child, 
The kingdom is really simple. Uh, God bless you, Pastor Alicia said right on time. Amen. The kingdom is really simple. Sometimes we make it too difficult. The kingdom is this, that when you become as a child, amen, and you have the utmost confidence and understanding of who God is, just how great he is. Like, um, I love how Isaiah says it. He said, who has taught God? Who has counseled God? Who has given him knowledge? No one. No one. Because there's no one like God. There's no one to counsel him. There's no one to teach him. There's no one to give knowledge to him. There's no one to help him. Why? Because he's God. So when you have an understanding of just how great your God is, when you come to him, amen, you come to him with this, with this bold confidence of who he is, that my prayer, amen, it's not about my ability. It's all about God's ability. I put it all on him. So we talked about not losing that. Not losing that aspect of who we are as children of God, not losing your childlike faith. And I want to just share a scripture today on not losing even the mustard seed faith. The Bible talks about mustard seed faith. So we're just going to share real quick. Amen. And then we'll go into prayer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says in Matthew, uh, 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 Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Amen. And Pastor, Pastor Alicia, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a scripture for a faith forward church. <laughs> Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. I, I'll read it and then I'll read the whole scripture in context. It says, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall be removed and nothing shall be impossible for you god bless you sister cheryl i see you god bless you amen and so i put it in context jesus is talking to his disciples after they tried to uh, uh, uh do deliverance on a little boy who was uh, uh who had a, a lunatic spirit so let me just read a little bit more for you in context. And it says in Matthew chapter 17, starting from verse 14, when they came to the multitude, they, there came a certain man kneeling down to him saying, Lord, have mercy on my son because he's a lunatic and sore vexed. And oftentimes he falls in the fire and he falls in the water. And I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil and departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples uh, to Jesus, to Jesus apart and said, why could we not cast him out? Why, when we prayed, why didn't it work? Why could we not cast him out when we prayed? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief for verily i say unto you if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed you shall say to this mountain be removed and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible for you how be it amen how be it this kind goeth not out by fasting and by prayer hallelujah god bless i see you sister Anne. god bless all those who are joining in god bless you amen and so when I read this scripture, glory be to God, when we read the scripture, we know this is a main scripture we go to when, when referencing fasting and prayer. And even, I believe even now is a good hour for us to be in times of fasting and prayer because of certain things that are going on, amen, and because we want to secure the remainder of the year. So fasting and prayer, we know we run to the scripture when we talk about fasting and prayer because certain hard things, amen, it requires... Uh, uh, not just prayer, but you to fast and to pray. Amen. For you to turn down your plate, for you to make an extra sacrifice, for you to operate in that spiritual discipline. But notice before Jesus even brings up fasting and prayer, because the reality is the answer to the disciples question, the answer was you need to fast and pray. He could have just said that. The answer was you need to fast and pray. But before he gives them the answer, he gives them a foundational answer first. Amen. First, he says, hey, Kim, God bless. Good to see you. Long time no see. God bless, Kim. Before Jesus gives them the real truth, he gives them a, a lesson first, right? He gives them a foundational truth. And this foundational truth is your answer couldn't be prayed or you couldn't 
cast out this this lunatic spirit because of your unbelief because of the lack of faith he said and truly i'd say unto you if you have faith so small faith as a mustard seed and you i don't want to use the word small if you have faith the size of a mustard seed as a grain of a mustard seed you can say to a mountain be removed and it shall be removed and nothing shall be impossible for you so jesus gives him a lesson first before he answers the question he throws in a little lesson right before he answered their question, he threw in a little lesson for good measure. And so he says, because of a lack of faith, <laughs> your prayer wasn't going to work in the first place. Not only that, you need to fast and pray. But before we even get into the fasting, because of the lack of faith, amen, the, the prayer couldn't be answered. So what does this tell me? Hi, Daddy. I see my, my, my father is on. God bless you, mighty man of God. Uh, 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 Deacon Carlton and I, thanks for joining in. And beloved, feel free to share the video You know, to those who you feel need an encouragement in their faith. So Jesus is able to throw in a lesson before he answers the question. And that lesson is, because of a lack of faith the, to the disciples, your prayer could not be answered. So what does that say to us? It says that a prerequisite to prayer... A prerequisite to prayer is faith, right? Faith is a prerequisite to, to, to prayer. Faith is the prerequisite because if we pray and we don't believe, you're not fooling anyone, but you're not fooling anyone. If you pray and you don't believe, who are you fooling? You're fooling yourself. You're not fooling God because the Bible says in James what? That without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because he what? He first must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So he says, faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. Faith is a prerequisite. It is a prerequisite. Somebody put that in the comment section so this stays with you. Faith is a prerequisite to prayer. Faith is a prerequisite. So he says, if you have faith the size of, the size of a mustard seed, Amen. You can say to this mountain, be removed and it'll be removed. So now what is a mustard seed? When you research the mustard seed, the mustard seed is a small, small seed that comes from a plant, right? And when you study the mustard seed, you learn that it, it's a very important spice, right? Lots of different cultures, ethnicities, they use it as a spice. We use it in our mustard, you know, anyone who likes spicy mustard. The seed, it comes from a plant and it is an important spice. It has nutritional value, not only that, but it's a rich source of oil and protein and other vitamins and minerals. So, so much is packed in this small seed, right? So much is packed in this small seed. So again, Jesus, Jesus says to them, if you have faith this size, if you have faith this size, God bless us, Cheryl, if you have faith this size, Nothing will be impossible for you. But I just told you in James 1 that it, the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible for you. So without, when you extract faith, it is impossible. But when you add faith, nothing is impossible. I'll say that again. When you extract faith, it is impossible. It is virtually impossible. But when you add faith, Bible says nothing is impossible. So that tells me that this is this is something serious here. This is this is a powerful ingredient. This is a very important ingredient. This is a very important component to prayer. Faith. Somebody write faith. Somebody write faith. With with it, nothing is impossible, but without it, everything's impossible, right? So this is like the determining factor whether or not we're getting things done in the kingdom faith somebody write faith so just like the mustard seed is an important spice like i told you before it's an important spice faith spices up your prayer life right it spices up my prayer life why because like a child i dare to believe i dare to believe that my god can do and that he's willing not only that he can but that he's willing it adds some spice to it, right? Because if I don't believe, your, pray, your prayer is really like blah, right? Without the belief. But the faith adds that punch to it because I dare to believe. Amen, amen. I dare to believe that God can and that he's willing to perform what I'm asking, what I'm believing for. Not only that, but I told you that the mustard seed is rich in oil. 
oil, the oil. What does the oil represent? It represents the anointing, amen? The anointing, the texture alone of oil. If you think about the texture of oil, it's greasy, it's oily, it's not dry, right? It's not dry at all, it's oily. So faith causes your prayer to not be dry. Without faith, beloved, and without this mustard seed faith that sometimes we forget about, without it, your prayer is dry. Amen. But faith causes my prayer to not be dry. Faith adds that punch. Faith adds that spice. Amen. Because uh, uh, when something is dry, when you think about it, when something is that is supposed to be alive, when it is dry and it, it becomes very dry, that is a sign that it is dying. Amen. Hallelujah. That is a sign that is dying. But I need oil. I need to keep it greasy. I need to keep my prayer well oiled. I need the anointing that destroys yokes. Amen. So in other words, is faith connected to the anointing? Yes, it is. Amen. Faith is connected to the anointing because the anointing is the ability amen to do through God what you cannot do in your own strength the anointing it is the enabling it is the God enabling power it is the, the ability to do through God what you cannot do on your own but without faith it's impossible for God to do that to use you to empower you to, to work through you if you have no faith that he can even do that so faith pleases him we need the faith in our prayers we need the faith when we're speaking we need the faith in what we're doing amen because it pleases God so I just want to encourage someone tonight that if you have felt any dryness if you have felt any weariness and if you have felt any wilderness type uh, like trait in your prayer don't be discouraged you need some oil you need some spice what am I having faith to pray for today Ask yourself that. What am I having faith to pray for today? What am I daring to believe for today? God, what do you want me to have faith to pray for today? Because Bible says he has given to every man a measure of faith. He's given to you a measure, to you a measure, to you a measure, right? Sister Jamie, you have a measure of faith. Margie, Anne, Sister Cheryl, Cece, Sister Dita, Sister Angela Wong, God bless you, Sister Angela. Thanks for joining. To each and every one of you, he has given you a measure of faith. Amen. And that faith, it grows over time as we walk with the Lord. What are you using this faith, amen, to do? Hallelujah. God, what do you want me to use my faith to pray for today? So when he tells you, amen, when he tells you what he wants you to pray for, move in it amen pray for it move in it don't shy away but know that your mustard seed faith it is dynamite it is powerful amen it is powerful let me just show you how powerful it is i want, want to share one more scripture uh matthew chapter 13 i think the verse got cut off but it's matthew 13 verse 31 to 32 Matthew chapter 13 verse 31 to 22 it says the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field and and this is smaller than all the other seeds the mustard seed we're talking about the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field so let me stop right there the the, the mustard seed you have to take it and you have to sow it you have to take the seed and sow it. Like I said, thank you, Jamie. I, I didn't even have to ask you. I, I, I wanted you to do that. Thank you, Jamie. Amen. So like I said, God has given you a measure of faith. God has given you the faith. You can have the seed. Amen. But then he said, you have to take it and sow it. Hallelujah. You have to take that seed, that faith, that seed faith. You have to take your faith and you have to sow it. You have to use it. Hallelujah. So ask yourself, how am I using my faith am i actively sowing it the way that you would sow a, a physical seed am i actively sowing my faith so he says the man took it and sowed it not only that but then he said this is smaller than all the other seeds but when it is full grown it is larger than the garden than all the garden plants amen the mustard seed it is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it grows, it is larger than all the garden, that all the plants in the garden. Not only that, it becomes a tree. Amen. So that the, uh, 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 let me read it in the NIV. It says, 
When it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all the garden plants and forms large branches so that the birds of the air can nest under its shade. This dynamite thing, this thing called faith, amen, that if you only have a little bit, it said, even though the mustard seed is the smallest of all the seeds, its harvest is bigger than all the other harvests. It's, it's bigger than all the other plants in the garden. It's bigger than all the other trees. It's bigger. So that, so you ever hear the saying that uh, uh, big things come in small packages? Big things come in small packages. Big things come in little packages. That's what this mustard seed is. Amen. It is your, it is your faith. That is what your faith is. It is something big. Hallelujah. Somebody say, my faith is big. Hallelujah. My faith is big. Why? Be because when I use it, amen. When I use it, when I sow it, the harvest that comes to my faith, it's bigger than, than everything else. It's bigger than what I would have done, hallelujah, in my own strength. When I've used my faith in God, hallelujah. Amen and amen, hallelujah. God bless us, Anna. We're going to be praying for you. God bless. Amen, hallelujah. So your faith, you got to hold on to this faith because your faith is special. Your faith, it is unique. It is, it is so great that when you pray, no matter how hopeless your situation is, no matter how far out of reach, how unrealistic it may be, you, when you use your faith, when you apply your faith, it, it has big results. When you apply this mustard seed faith, Faith. It results in fruit. It results in a harvest that is larger than all the others. Amen. And so in life, and I'll share this, that in life, because when we experience life and we walk through life and the older we get, you're going to go through certain experiences. You're going to go through hardship and disappointments right? And those things cause us to readjust our expectation that maybe when I was a child, my expectation was here, but after being disappointed so many times, now my expectation is down here. We lower our expectations. And some of us have no expectation at all. We just let the whole thing go because of the cares of this world, because of life, because of experiences, because of disappointment, because of hurt, because of hardship, because of pain. But the Bible says that the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off. The expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off. You need this expectation. You need to dare to believe anyway. You need to dare to trust God anyway. Amen. What is it for your freedom, for for, for an open door, for that loved one to finally come to Christ, for maybe a legal battle, for a house, for a medical issue. I don't know, whatever it is for you. The beloved, we have to fight for this faith. We have to fight for this faith. Amen. Hallelujah. That's all right, Sister Anna. That's all right. Because that disappointment will come, but it doesn't uh, uh, negate who God is and what he is, uh, is expecting us to do, which is to operate in faith. Hallelujah. The Bible says we have to what? Contend for the faith. Not only meaning contend for the faith, meaning Christianity, but contend for faith, this currency, which I live by. And keep it and sow it constantly. I trust you, God. I believe you, God. That's right, Sister Dita. Your faith is massive. Hallelujah. And it has big results. Though it's the mustard seed is the smallest. You see, God knew that sometimes it's too hard to have to have what we would think is, oh, I have so much faith. Because you be get crushed sometimes. You get crushed in life. But God said you only need to have a little bit. If you got a little bit left, if you got a mustard seed left. That small mustard seed is going to result in a, in, a, in, a, in a harvest that is greater than all the others. That is the power of faith. I know you've been hurt. I know you've been disappointed. I know what you're going through right now is hard, but I just need you to hold on and just to have a, a, a mustard seed faith. He didn't actually have a bucket load. Amen. He said the mustard seed because he knows how much power is packed into that small mustard seed faith. He said, if you can just hold on, just hold on, Sister Anna, we're going to pray. Just a little, if you can just have a mustard seed. You don't know how much power is in your mustard seed. You don't realize how much power is in there. Though it's the smallest of the seed, when it's full grown, when you sow, when you sow it. So let's talk about that first. When you sow it. So it says, when you sow the mustard seed. So I can have all the mustard seed in the world, but until I sow... 
until I sow my faith. So until I sow, I cannot start the process of growing the tree that is large, this larger, this tree that's supposed to be larger than all the other plants in the garden, the, the results that's supposed to be greater than all the other results. Yet yeah, man can give you this result and the world can give you this result and you can get in your own strength can get this result. But when I trust in God and I have faith in God and I sow my faith, amen, I get a result that's greater than all those results, amen? Though it's the smallest seed. So until you sow, and I, amen, I should have been doing like these comments this whole time, amen and amen, hallelujah, until you sow, you cannot start the process. So that's why God's saying, hold on. I need you to have a little bit because you need to sow, you need to sow that little bit so that we can start the process, the process of the restoration, the process, hallelujah. That's all he's really given me, the process of the restoration. And I will restore it greater than what it was before. That tree that is that is that plant that is larger than all the other garden plants. The restoration that I will restore it back to a state that is better than it was before. That is better than than everything else. I need you to hold on to a little mustard seed because I need you to sow it. Hallelujah! Until you sow it, or in other words, until you take action. That's what it means to sow faith. It means to take action. Until you take that action, you cannot begin the clock. Amen. The clock of growing that tree. So Bible says what? Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. So yes, you have your mustard seed faith, but you have to now sow the mustard seed faith. You have to move in the direction that God is telling you to move in, no matter how impossible it may seem. Amen. You got to hold on because as you sow it, Amen. You begin the process. Hallelujah. The process of growing that tree. So again, faith without works is dead. Without faith, amen, and without action to go with the dynamite seed that I have. Amen. Your faith without works, it is dead. It is not alive yet until you move. So my, my, my mustard seed, it is faith. My mustard seed, it is faith. It is dynamite. It is potential. Not until I act, not until I move does it become alive. It stays in potential. Not until I move in the direction of my faith, amen, does it become alive. Bible says it's dead. Until you move, it is dead. Until you move, it is dead. Amen. So you got to take that mustard seed faith, amen, that powerful dynamite mustard seed, amen, and couple it with an action, of course, as the Lord is leading and in his timing. So again, like we said tonight, and I spoke maybe a little longer than I meant to, but faith is the prerequisite to our prayers. Faith is the prerequisite. Believe. Don't pray and then speak the opposite of what you just prayed. Anyone ever done that before? You pray, but then like when you're talking, you speak in the, the opposite of everything you prayed. Like, man, that's ne never going to happen. Or that's just too hard. I, it just, it just can't happen. Or even though you prayed for it to happen, but then when you went speaking, you are speaking the opposite of what you prayed. Don't do that. If that's you and we're all guilty of it. We've all done it. Amen. For, we have to stop doing that. We, amen, because I'm also a partaker of this word. We have to stop doing that. Amen. Believe, believe, believe. P faith is a prerequisite to prayers. Amen. If you pray and you don't believe, I don't know what you're praying for. You have to believe. Faith is the prerequisite. Not only that, but we talked about the mustard seed. Amen. And so uh, 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 how God gives us a picture of faith through the mustard seed. So faith, it adds spice to your prayer life. If you dare to believe, amen, it spices up your prayer life. It adds oil. Amen. It is adding oil or the co a, a component of the anointing. Amen. To your prayer. Amen. To your walk. Why? Because you have uh, uh, faith to believe that God has the power to do. You have the faith to believe that God has the power to do, and it has nothing to do with your ability and everything to do with his. Amen. Everything to do with his. Amen. So faith causes you again to move 
towards the thing you're believing for. That's how we sow it. God gives us the faith. We have the mustard seed. Amen. And then I move towards the thing I'm believing for. I'm not just going to sit back and just expect it to just happen. I begin to move towards the thing that I'm believing for. That's how we sow it. It starts the clock for the growth of the tree, which produces fruit. And that fruit being the answers to our prayer. Amen. So that's all I wanted to share tonight, beloved. Hallelujah. Amen. Hold on to your mustard seed faith. Your faith, it is powerful. Amen. Your faith, it is unique. It is special. It is dynamite when we use it. We, we, there's no dryness when I when I walk in faith. There's no there, there, there's no dry place, no, no dryness when I'm in faith. Amen. Not only that, hallelujah, but God causes uh, me to move in faith and move in the direction, amen, of what I am believing for. And these things, these, these principles, amen, sowing in faith, hallelujah, amen, it causes all things to be possible for us. If you recall, Jesus told the disciples, because of your unbelief, you couldn't cast out this lunatic. So who who knows? Maybe they were praying, God, you know, God delivered this boy from this lunatic spirit. But amongst each other, they're like, what's wrong with this little boy? <laughs> yeah, he's never going to get delivered. We, we, can't, we can't do that anymore. We're going to have faith. We're going to believe. And if we're going to believe, we're going to believe. My speech has to match what I'm praying. Amen. My speech outside of prayer, right? My speech has to match what I am praying. Amen. I'm going to, I have to believe. You're not fooling yourself if you're praying without faith. So be encouraged today. Let's hold on to this mustard seed faith. Let's hold on to this gift that God has given us. Every man has been given a measure of faith. Let's hold on to it. Amen. And be encouraged. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. Amen. I want us to pray. Uh, I, I'm literally gonna, just going to be praying for each and every one of you that is on there. If you have special requests, you can leave it. Sister Anna, I saw yours. So we'll pray concerning that. Glory be to God. But I just want us to pray. Amen. And as whatever you're believing, whatever God has given you a mustard seed faith, amen, to believe for, we want to partner with you today and touch and agree, amen, though virtually, touch and agree on that thing. So anything that you have, okay, Sister Anna, amen, anything that you have, please feel free to leave it in the, the comment section and we'll pray for it. Amen. So let's open up, amen, and begin to pray together. Hallelujah. Let's posture ourselves. If you need to get up, go ahead and get up. Amen. If you need to get your prayer shawl, get your prayer shawl. Whatever you need to do, let's get in the mode and a posture of prayer. So, Father, we thank you. We bless you tonight, God, for your very word, Father. Hallelujah. That has come to encourage your people tonight. We worship you. We honor you, oh God. Hallelujah. For you are our everything, Father. Oh God, that when we come to you, we can come boldly to our Father. We can come boldly to the throne. Hallelujah. That we may, hallelujah, obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. We thank you. We bless you. We honor you tonight, God, for having your way. I pray for your people, Father. Look at the wherever their needs are, Father, that you begin to move. Hallelujah. Already begin to move. Holy Spirit, go before us and begin to move in their situation. Begin to move in their circumstance. Begin to touch their minds. Hallelujah. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, anyone experiencing our dryness, oh God, anyone that has been experiencing dryness in their prayer, Father, we command all dryness to be removed. Hallelujah. To be eradicated from our life. Hallelujah. We will not walk in dryness, God, but I thank you, God, hallelujah, that we will sow faith, that we will continually sow faith, sow faith in our prayers, sow faith in our speech, sow faith by what we dare to believe for, hallelujah. I give you glory and honor and praise, God, that your people are going to begin to sow their faith intentionally and not be afraid to move in it, God. I thank you, God, that whatever your people are believing for, nothing shall be impossible for them. For you said that we have faith the size of a mustard seed. Nothing shall be impossible for us. I thank you, oh God, that whatever lie of the enemy has come to plague the minds of your people, oh God, we combat it right now with the truth. Oh God, with the word of God, which says that nothing shall be impossible. We cancel every lie. Oh God, we condemn, hallelujah, anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And we pull every thought into the cap every thought into the captivity hallelujah of the obedience of jesus christ i thank you right now for your people i want us to start praying amen i want us to pray our sister anna 
Glory be to God. She wants us to pray against double-mindedness. Amen and amen. She wants us to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Concerning the season that she is in. Amen. Let us just pray for God to encourage her, for God to encourage her faith, for God to build her faith, for God, hallelujah, to begin the restoration process of whatever the enemy has tried to steal, though it may not be a, a tangible material, but anything spiritually the enemy is trying to steal from you. Because Sister Anna, you can see right now, the enemy wants you to be bankrupt. The enemy, hallelujah, tries to come against you, amen, in little, little, little ways, and to attack your faith, and to attack your mind, and to attack your strength, and to attack you here, and to attack you there, amen. Why? So that he can uh, 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 distract you, what you're supposed to be doing spiritually, what you're supposed to be doing in prayer, amen, because the enemy wants each and every one of us to become spiritually bankrupt, but we come against the enemy tonight. We destroy him by fire. We declare you will not be spiritually bankrupt. We declare he will not steal your faith. We declare he will not, hallelujah, uh, uh, occupy your mind with things that are not uh, 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 things of God, but whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are virtue, whatsoever things are praiseworthy, hallelujah, your mind will be dedicated to these things. Let's let's pray together, beloved. I, I, I want to pray, hallelujah, specifically against a double mind, hallelujah, against that double mind. So if you, beloved, can pray with me, begin to intercede, begin to open up your mouth and intercede for our sister Anna. Let's intercede for her together. I command any double-minded spirit, any double-mindedness, hallelujah. We command it to leave you tonight, Sister Anna. Hallelujah. You will not waver. You will not be tossed to and fro. The enemy will not take advantage of you and allow you, oh, to be tossed to and fro. But I thank you, God. I speak stability of mind. I speak stability to your mind. Hallelujah. That the word of God, hallelujah, will remind you of your stance. That as you are reminded and encourage yourself in the word and are reminded of the word and bring back to remembrance the word, not only the word of God. Hallelujah. Because man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. As you bring back to remembrance, Anna, not only the word of God, but every prophet prophetic word that you have received, every prophetic word, every rhema word, hallelujah, as you bring it back to remembrance, hallelujah, you shall be reminded, hallelujah, of who you are, of your stance, of your position, I speak to your spiritual posture, I thank you God for restoring your spiritual posture, hallelujah, that you will not be weak, hallelujah, that you will not give in, hallelujah, that you will not be strong in yourself, but strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that the power of your might will restore Anna. Oh, hallelujah, will empower her. Hallelujah, that you will bring peace to her mind. I speak to your mind right now. Hallelujah, that the peace that passes all understanding will guard your mind. May your mind be guarded because that's how the enemy gets to you. It's through the mind. But may your mind be guarded today in the mighty name of Jesus through the peace of God. Peace he leaves with you, Anna. Peace he leaves with you. That you may be comforted in any area in your life that you are experiencing hardship, that you are experiencing pain upon pain upon pain. God is a God who can comfort better than any comfort that exists in the world. We pray for the comfort of God to visit you right now. I pray that the Holy Spirit will visit you right now, even as I feel his spirit right here where I am. I pray, hallelujah, that the spirit of God will enthrone you right now, that you will experience a comfort like never before in the name of Jesus. Not only that, but the peace that passed all understanding, the peace that doesn't make sense, the peace that uh, uh, is insurmountable, the peace of God will guard your mind. That you will make up in your mind that no enemy, that no news, that no lies will steal your peace, that nothing will steal your peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That he's guarding your mind. I see him guarding your mind the way that like Fort Knox is guarded. You know the way that Fort Knox is guarded. Hallelujah. When people say it's guarded like Fort Knox and not, that no one can get in. I pray for our peace. That has the effectiveness and the fortitude of a fort. Hallelujah. Glory be to God of even Fort Knox to guard your mind. 
that no battle of the mind will cause you to falter will cause you to faint hallelujah will cause you to miss amen the timing of god the timing of what he's assigned you to do what he's assigned who he's assigned you to be connected with amen uh where, where he's assigned you to go that nothing that no battle in your mind Hallelujah, will cause you to miss it. But I thank you right now, Father, for securing Anna. Secure every opportunity. Secure every divine connection. Secure, oh God, everything that you, every assignment. Secure it, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that because this faith is being restored, hallelujah, not only that, but because she's moving by faith, amen, even in the midst of her hardship, I thank you, God, for the process, the process of restoration, hallelujah, that has already begun. I thank you, God, hallelujah, oh God, that nothing shall be impossible for Anna nothing shall be impossible for Anna that's right hallelujah just as you taught on the mind begin to recall what you had taught and begin to speak it to yourself Anna but recall the things that you are taught about the mind and begin to speak it to yourself so that you know exactly what the enemy is doing the Bible says we are not ignorant concerning the enemy's devices we're not ignorant so as you go back and study everything that you taught on the mind, you'll see this is what the enemy is doing. This is what the enemy is doing. This is what the enemy is doing. And guess what? It's not going to work. Hallelujah. Because of my God. Hallelujah. Because of who God is. He is Jehovah Gabor, man of war who fights for me. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is not going to work. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. Hallelujah. It's not going to work. Go back and study the mind. Amen. Because that's how the enemy is trying to come in go back and study the mind and as you do that the devices of the enemy will be exposed amen and you'll be able to pinpoint it and cancel it and come against it and already know right now that the weapon is not going to prosper it's not going to work amen it's already not going to work and so as you do that i thank god that he is comforting you that he is ministering to you right now to your spirit that even tonight as you sleep may you dream dreams hallelujah that god will give you the, the direction and the, not only the direction but the assignment the thing that you that your faith is being attacked for that this is what i need to have faith for that god will show it to you and that you begin to move towards it in the mighty name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah sister dita god bless you i want to i want to uh, uh partner with you in prayer hallelujah that's your faith is massive glory be to god i thank god for your faith sister dita amen that your faith is a faith that you not only believe for yourself but it is a faith that believes for others i want to secure you in the blood right now because as an intercessor sister dita because your faith is massive because you know how to sow this faith glory be to god the enemy wouldn't want you to to, uh, to intercede for others because he knows the dynamite impact that your faith has but i cover you in the blood right now i cover you as an intercessor i soak you in the blood of jesus I I immerse you in the blood of Jesus hallelujah amen and amen and cover you and ask God amen to continue to shield you to continue to just shield you because you are an intercessor amen that many people's destinies amen and our lives are impacted because of the prayers that you pray may God continue to use you amen that these uh, these this massive faith that you have and these prayers that you pray cause there to be an explosion in the lives of others an explosion of good things an explosion of blessing an explosion Explosion of breakthrough, hallelujah. Because of the prayers that you pray, be encouraged, hallelujah. Sister Dita, be encouraged that God is using you for such a time as this, hallelujah. That God has raised you up, amen, for such a time as this. May this faith of yours, hallelujah, not only be preserved hallelujah but may it continue to be a blessing to others hallelujah but whatever you you're believing for sister dita i partner with you right now amen that your faith that your faith that your faith is bringing about an explosion not only in the lives of those around you but even in your own life concerning the, the things that you have believed god for concerning your own breakthrough we partner with you right now and we seal it in the blood of jesus and we seal it in the name of jesus that it is yours and that nothing shall be impossible for you because of this faith anyone else in need of prayer let's continue to pray sister cc if you're still on sister cc if you're still on hallelujah amen i want to pray for you glory be to god father i cover sister cc right now in the name of jesus amen beloved let's cover one another in the area of faith amen as, as god leads outside of that we will follow 
but let's cover each other, each other in the area of faith. We're, right now, we're praying for Sister Cece. We're praying for our Sister Cece. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you preserve the faith of my sister. Preserve her in the name of Jesus. I declare over her right now that no weapon from the against us will prosper. Father, we partner with her right now. Oh God, and we lift our prayers to the heaven, Father, that God her must succeed faith. Oh God, is being preserved. Not only that, but you're giving her the know-how. You're giving her additional wisdom, added wisdom, added wisdom. I speak right now to you, Sister Cece, added wisdom on how, yes, to maneuver, amen, and, uh, and sow this faith, amen, because it's not one way that we sow must succeed faith, but God is giving you the added wisdom on how and where to and the timing to sow your faith to bring about, oh yes, a, a, a harvest to bring about, answer to prayer to bring about blessing and breakthrough, amen, that God has given you added wisdom, not only for you, but for your household, for your children, for those that you have been believing for, that you have been partnering with, we thank God that he's preserving your faith, but he's giving you added wisdom in the season, I speak wisdom unto you, that God will release the wisdom of God unto you, to be a faithful sower of faith, to be a faithful sower of faith, through your action, through your movement, hallelujah, through uh, 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 yes, just how you take action, that whatever God places in your heart to do, that you do it, that whoever he calls you to speak to, that you do it, hallelujah, that God is giving you, yes, hallelujah, not only added wisdom, amen, but the strength and the boldness to move in faith. Wisdom over you in this season, hallelujah. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom concerning your decisions, hallelujah. Concerning the family, added wisdom we speak over you right now in the name of Jesus, amen. And I thank you that God is preserving this faith, this precious faith. This faith, not only that, but I speak, hallelujah, that right now your faith is about to encourage other people, CC. I see your faith encouraging other people that because you walk in this must succeed faith that has this dynamite impact, hallelujah, that others will look on and see, amen, not only family members, hallelujah, but those around you, co-workers, friends, amen, that others will be encouraged by your faith and begin to walk in it also in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Anybody else have prayer requests? Anybody? else have prayer i'll pray for some more people amen but if you have a special request please uh uh, uh let us know glory be to god amen glory be to god amen jamie hallelujah amen i pray right now for your faith hallelujah i pray right now in the name of jesus let's begin to pray for our sister jamie amen for those of you amen all you have to do is pray concerning their faith that god will not only preserve it but that god will grow it that god will protect their faith amen in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you right now jamie i pray concerning your faith that you begin to walk in another measure of faith that god take you as the scripture says from glory to glory from faith to faith that god will begin to take you from faith to faith in the mighty name of Jesus that the thing that you are believing for hallelujah is not going to take a lot of strength from you it's not about what you can do glory be to God hallelujah but it's all about his ability I thank God that the things that you are believing for it only requires a must succeed faith and I pray right now that God will cause you to rise from faith to faith glory be to God hallelujah that 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 yes your word shall match what you've been praying for and I thank God that as God is bringing things to, into alignment for you Glory be to God, you shall begin to see, you shall begin to see the result of mustard seed faith, that the, the plant that shall harvest is greater than all the garden plants, that what you get, hallelujah, out of God is greater than anything you could have done in your own power, in your own strength. Don't be discouraged, don't be dismayed, hallelujah, at the things, hallelujah, that may seem impossible, that may seem out of reach. The Bible says every, uh, every mountain shall be made low, meaning God can bring things that are high and bring it onto your level. He can bring the things that are out of reach and bring it within reach hallelujah that is the power of the mustard seed faith so continue to be encouraged know that it is that this mustard seed faith that you have been uh, uh not only uh realizing you possess but uh, as you're putting it to action as you're putting it to action through your movement by taking action by walking in faith amen by walking in faith by adding works to your faith as you do this jamie know the dynamite impact that is coming to you hallelujah because you are operating in this mustard seed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. I want us to pray for our sister, our sister Cheryl. Yes, our sister Cheryl. 
for her mind glory be to god for her mind glory be to god let us pray for our sister cheryl amen everybody let us come on one accord and intercede i want you to pray amen as we pray for everybody i want you to pray amen like this is your your own sister your own flesh and blood let us pray for we are a family that prays together bible says one shall put a thousand to flight two shall put ten thousand to flight i know that as we combine our prayers together as we join in prayer amen whatever it is that is coming against god people and their mind it will have to flee from this hour hallelujah from this very hour in the mighty name of jesus let's pray for sister Cheryl. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my sister. I soak her mind in the blood right now. I soak her thoughts in the mind of God. I soak her memories in the blood of Jesus. May your mind be soaked with the blood. May your thoughts be soaked with the blood. May your memories even be immersed in the blood of Jesus. We declare and decree over you today, Sister Cheryl, that may you have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ, hallelujah. Not only because of the thoughts that you think, but the mind of Christ was a mind that was not frazzled. The mind of Christ was a mind that was not in fear. The mind of Christ was a mind that was not weary. The mind of Christ was a mind that did not falter or faint. The mind of Christ was a strong mind. The mind of Christ was a focused mind the mind of christ was a determined mind may you have his mind may you have his mind may you have his mind today may he impart into you right now May there be an impartation. Hallelujah of the mind of Christ upon you right now. Oh, that your mind, hallelujah, will be filled with the word of God. Now, whatever may come your way to discourage you, whatever lie of the enemy, the mind of Christ will automatically cancel it, will automatically nullify it because of the word of God. That will spring up from out of your belly and you shall speak the word of God. And whatever lie may come to you, it will be nullified whatever lie may come to you it shall be neutralized because of the word of god and because of the blood of the lamb you are an overcomer you are an overcomer in your mind whatever you thought that you couldn't overcome we declare and decree over you today that you are an overcomer i speak to your mind today and i say mind of cheryl you are an overcomer you have already overcome you have already overcome because jesus has already overcome the world so you have already overcome and i thank you god for the mind being shielded thank you for the word that will shield her mind thank you that as sister cheryl dives into your word meditates on your word eats your word intakes it sister cheryl i see you just eating the word just eating the word just eat it eat it eat it eat it it's eating the word meditating on the word study the word that as you eat the word it is your helmet it guards you hallelujah and neutralize anything that comes your way it nullifies any lie that comes your way it protects the mind the word of god so I pray right now, amen, that any discouragement that is upon you, hallelujah, that God will cause a, a, a relief, amen, and a release right now in the name of Jesus. Every burden that was upon your shoulder may be lifted right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May he relieve you. And may the peace that pass all understanding guard you, your heart and your mind. In the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, thank you so much, amen, for, for uh, uh, just is partnering with us as we've been covering one another in prayer i want us to pray one more prayer amen if you could with me i want us to intercede for a particular family i want us to intercede for a particular family i had a um uh a, a, not a co-worker but uh a colleague that works for the same company as i a colleague that works for the same company god bless you sister Cheryl. amen god bless you a colleague that works for the same bank as i do Amen. He died this morning in his house in a fire. Him and his wife. They died this morning in a fire. Him and his wife. Very young couple. He my age, very young. They died this morning in a fire. The house caught on fire. Amen. And so we it's it's so tragic, such a shock, such a loss. Very tragic. Amen. But in these times, amen, it takes the prayer of the saints 
to comfort the family, to comfort the loved ones, to comfort those who are impacted, his coworkers, those who deal with him day to day. So if you can, this is the Brown family. I want, I want us to intercede for them together. Amen. I want us to intercede for this family that has lost amen a son and a daughter-in-law amen and of course for, for his wife's family they have lost a daughter let us intercede for them let us pray for them pray with them amen that god would protect their minds amen bring peace to them in the midst of this this storm that has showed up amen this tragic loss and bring comfort to them in the name of jesus they are the brown family if you can pray amen the brown family let's begin to intercede right now and pray for them in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh Jesus, Father, we thank you, hallelujah. We bless you, we glorify you, that you said in everything to give thanks because it's the will of God concerning us, God. Father, we lift up the Brown family to you, Father. Oh God, and we give you thanks, God, just for the time that they had with these precious people in their life, these precious young people, these precious souls, a son of the king worshippers servants in the church of god a daughter of zion father oh god in everything we still give thanks to you anyway we give you thanks in advance that you oh god will comfort the family that you oh god hallelujah will step into the situation the situation that seems hopeless the situation in which they feel broken the situation in, in which they feel oh god hallelujah that you have left them hallelujah oh god i pray in the name of jesus lord god that you will step in and be the comforter that you are comfort these your people hallelujah comfort ye my people yeah baba reshe kababa i pray for the minds oh god of everyone in the family for the mothers for the father oh god hallelujah for the siblings father we pray yeah that you will sustain them that you will strengthen them oh god during a, during this hour oh father hallelujah that whatever thoughts may come to plague their own mind because of the loss of their loved one father any any thought of the enemy we cancel it right now we soak them in the blood of jesus we say Father, oh, preserve them, protect them, oh God, preserve their peace, grant them peace, grant them peace in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the storm. I thank you, oh God, that you are peace in the midst of our storm, that you are peace in the midst of every storm. Any storm your people are dealing with today, I thank you that you're giving them peace, the peace of God, the peace of God, the peace, hallelujah, that surpasses anything that we can understand or comprehend during a time of lost during a time of pain oh during a tragic time father i thank you oh god that you will be their peace hallelujah i come against any thoughts hallelujah any thoughts of depression any thoughts of anxiety any thoughts of suicide anything that will come to attack the family during this time i pray that you will shield them cover them with your blood hallelujah and peace be with them even in the midst of this storm in the mighty name of jesus i thank you that you will bring calm to them that you will help them to get through this time lord god we pray for anyone dealing with loss in this hour lord god we know that we cannot escape it father because it is part of life but we pray right now for families right now dealing oh god with loss that you help them to get through that you strengthen them oh god to get through that you help them to give you thanks anyhow to say hallelujah anyhow to say Thank you, Lord, anyhow, to help them to get through it, Father. Oh, God, to get whatever help they need. I pray for support. I pray for love. I pray for healthy surrounding, oh, God, for those who will support and strengthen them during this hour to help them to get through the season that they're in. We bless you. We thank you. We honor you for hearing our prayer and bowing down your ear in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, family. That was on my heart to pray for them. Again, such hard news to hear. But what do we do when we hear hard news? All we can do is run to the Father. Like children, when you when something happens, we run to the Father. That's all we can do and continue to love on one another, to support one another, amen, to cherish one another, to cherish the life we have, this life we live. Bible says, amen, no man know of the day or the hour, amen, that the Son of Man will return. We never know, amen, when Christ will return, not only that, but when our time will be up on this earth amen we never know so we have to cherish life and cherish one another amen hallelujah hallelujah amen i just want to make a few announcements before we uh pray amen and pray out watchmen amen we have been on break for the whole month of june we will be back this saturday this saturday at 6 a.m we are coming back hallelujah to pray 6 a.m we're meeting 
second or fourth Saturday. So please join us if you're able to. Please join us uh, 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 for this Saturday. Glory be to God. Also, uh, let me see here. Amen. I don't have the correct flyer, but for those of you who are aware, the Jesus Life Company, amen, which I partner with and work with, they are having the teaching in the park. It was canceled last Saturday because of the rain, but it's been rescheduled uh, for Saturday, July 31st, the last Saturday of this month. And Central Park, we'd love for you to join us. If you want to join, please register. Make sure you go to the Jesus Life Company either on Instagram or on Facebook, and look for the link to register. Amen. So we would love to have you. Amen. We want to teach. We want to be out in the open teaching. Amen. About Jesus, because people have to know that Jesus, who Jesus is, amen, and that he is soon to return. So like I said before, life is fleeting. It is so precious. We never know when our time will be up. We never know when Christ will return. Amen. But Bible lets us know that he is coming again. So I just want to share with any of you that may not know the Lord, may not have accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, may may not have taken that step. We just want to uh, 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 give you an opportunity. Glory be to God to accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior today. Amen. Bible says, hallelujah, that all have sinned and come short of the knowledge of God. Right? The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Eternal life is only accessible through Jesus Christ. It's not accessible through your good deeds, through your good works, through your good attitude, through vibes or aura or energy, good energy. Only through Jesus Christ, amen, is eternal life accessible, amen. Where do we go after we, we die? Where do we go when we leave this earth? We can't stay here forever. Amen. We want to be reconciled, amen, with the Father in heaven. Amen. Because we are spirits. You you are a spirit. You have a, a soul. You live in a body. But when this body goes, amen, we return. Our soul returns to heaven. You have to have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. In order to experience eternal life. John 3, 16 says what? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him, will not perish but have everlasting life. That belief, that faith, that Jesus is the Son of God, that he did die for you because you needed him. You needed a Savior to be re reconciled with a holy God. Amen. Because he died for you and, and faith in the one who died for you. Amen. It gives you access into the kingdom of heaven and to eternal life. So I just want to pray with anyone. You've heard about the gospel before. You've heard about this Jesus before. You've never walked in it. Amen. You may be watching the replay. We just want to pray with you. Amen. And extend the gift, uh, extend the invitation of salvation to you. Amen. Just repeat after me. Say, Father, I confess that I have sinned, that I have fallen short of your word and of your standard. I ask you, Jesus, to be Lord over my life, to come into my heart and live on the inside of me. I believe that you truly are the Son of God and that you died for me, for my sins, and that you rose again from the dead. I ask you, Father, hallelujah, to come into my life, to live inside of me from this day forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Beloved, if you prayed with me this simple prayer and repeated what I said, and you meant it with your heart. Amen. The Bible says that you are saved. And heaven rejoices for just one soul. Amen. That accepts the Lord as a personal Lord and Savior. So for those of you who are saved, thank you for staying on and praying that prayer with me. Amen. It is important because even if one person watches and accepts, we all have done, you know, the work of the kingdom, amen, which is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So again, beloved, be encouraged in the Lord. Let us cherish one another. Let's continue to love one another. Let's hold on to our faith that even in the midst of the storm, even when I'm crushed, even when I'm weak, even when I'm disappointed, if I can have just a, a mustard seed of faith, amen, God says, you can say to a mountain, be moved, and it'll be moved. God said that nothing will be impossible for you. So hold on to your faith. 
We will continue next week, amen, praying these prayers, tar- uh, targeted prayers, amen, and lifting one another up in intercession as well. So God bless you. God cover you. God bless you going out the re- remainder of this week. You're coming in. God cover you and your household, and I will see you all next week. In Jesus' name, God bless.